The uh, equation that you see on the screen is the equation for momentum. It's just mass times uh, velocity. And the letter that we use for momentum in this equation is P, right? Because obviously M was already taken with mass, so we have to use a different letter. Uh, so momentum is just a measure of something's mass times its velocity. And uh, you can think of momentum as how hard something is to stop. So the bigger the momentum is, the harder that thing would be to stop. The more force you'd have to use and the longer time you'd have to use to uh, slow it down. All right, uh, some things to notice about this equation. First of all, what happens if the mass gets bigger? We can see the momentum would also get bigger as well. Bigger mass means bigger momentum. Also, what if the velocity gets bigger? Well, a bigger velocity would also mean a bigger momentum, right? So actually, if you double the mass, you would double the momentum. If you double the velocity, you would double the momentum as well. Okay, And likewise, if you made one of them got smaller, so would the momentum. What happens if velocity is zero? Okay, if velocity is zero, then the momentum will always be zero, so no matter how big the thing is. Okay, it could be a huge truck that's parked along the road. Because it's not moving, it has zero momentum, no matter how huge it is. Okay, so that's something to keep in mind as we go on. All right, so here's the equation, and uh, it has been pl played with algebraically. So on the bottom left, this is what you do if you want to find velocity. If, if you get a question that asks you for momentum and mass, I'm sorry, that gives you momentum and mass, and it asks you for velocity, you would take the momentum and divide by mass. Uh, if you get a question that gives you the momentum and the velocity, and it wants you to find the mass, then you would divide the momentum by the velocity. That would give you the mass. Okay, so all three of these are in, uh, are the same same equation, just you would use uh, different ones depending on what you're being asked for. Okay, so here's our example. What is the momentum of a blackbird with a mass of 0 0.04 kilograms flying at 19 meters per second? So you see it tells us the, the mass and the velocity. So all we have to do is multiply mass and velocity. So mass was 0 0.04, velocity was 19, you just multiply those together, and you get 0 0.76. The unit for, you can see the unit for momentum right here, kg times m over s. That's really just the, the unit for mass multiplied by the unit for uh, velocity. So that's how we get that. But if you wanted to have the correct units, that's what you would write after the number. Okay, example number two, a meteorite has a momentum of 100. If the velocity is 1,000, what is its mass? Well, the uh, momentum. So it gives us what's going to be on the left side of the equation, and it gives us velocity. We just need to find the mass, which is in the middle there. So we'll start with that equation. Plug in our numbers, momentum on the left and velocity on the right. And you see, to get rid of the, uh, the 1,000 and isolate the m, we're going to have to divide both sides by 1,000. So that's how we got that. And then 100 divided by 1,000 is just point, uh, point 0.1, 0 0.1 kilograms. Okay, so the mass is 0 0.1 kilograms. All right, finally, last example, a frog with a mass of 0 0.9 kilogram hops with a momentum of 10.8 kilogram per meter second. What is its speed? So this time we're told the momentum, which goes on the left side of the equation, and we're told the mass which goes on the right side, it's just the V that we don't know. So we'll plug in our numbers, starting with uh, momentum equals mass times velocity. Okay, so momentum is on the left, uh, mass is on the right. And to isolate V, we're going to have to divide both sides by 0.9. We will do. And there you go. Okay, so one more time, 10.8 divided by 0.9 gives you 12 meters per second for the frog, okay? So we've used this equation now three different ways. Uh, so you'll always be given two out of the three and you'll have to find the third. All right, good luck and I'll see you all in the next video.